Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are doing a, probably a stipulation draft here, maybe. I don't know. What are we gonna do? What can we what can we do with this pack that we just opened? We got a gristle brand. We also have a sneak attack. Hmm. Um, I think sneak attack in a vacuum is stronger than gristle brand. But you never know. I'm gonna take sneak attack. I think it is the strongest card. Oh, bribery? Oh, Jesus! Oh, gravy! I'm gonna take the bribery, guys. We are blue, 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 red sneak attack, my dude. If father comes home, will you wake up, Mike? What does that even mean? Sneak attack is hard to play in a vacuum. Dang it, he's right. That's a really good point. You think you're so funny, don't you? You think you're so funny. Sometimes I imagine I'm Super Fritz and then I just get to sit here and be so funny to myself. I'm just like, boy, look at me. Look at me, Super Fritz, and look how funny I am. I am the funniest there is. I like Ashiok, but I have no reason to go into a third color here. I'd rather just take Preordain and stick with our... I'm pretty funny for us. I don't think... Yeah, but I don't think those are... I don't think those are related, right? Like... I was a redwood, I've been to Hollywood, I've been a sandwich miner with a heart of gold. <coughs> and that's how I died. He was singing this song and then he just, just died. I'm going to take Rekindling Phoenix because I think this card's very, very strong. I'm going to take, oh, Warm Power Stone is nice, it ramps us to bribery. Phantasmal Image and Factor Fiction also. We could we could sneak attack and Wilmog in then Phantasmal Image. That's pretty cool. That chicken's a beaut. <laughs> I think the word beaut is very funny. I want to take oh God. What is it? What's the pick here? I want to take Image. None of these cards appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. I'm tempted to just take Tangle Wire. Oblivion Stone, perhaps? That's No, that's terrible. I hate Oblivion Stone. I'll just take Desperate Ritual. Whatever. <sighs> Man. These packs have not been kind to us. I'm going to take this Kolagon's Command. I don't think we're a Burning of Zinyu deck. What was that noise? The noise is when you double-click on a card. It's very strange. Marsh Flat seems... I mean, I'd rather have Kolagon's Command in case we can splash it than... Uh, you can turn the sound... Yeah, ob obviously. But I don't mind it. Like, I don't... There's specific sounds I don't mind. And then there's some I don't care about. <clears throat> or some I, some I do mind, rather. I don't know. I guess we just take Liliana here? I don't know, man. This is weird. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. Yeah, these packs have been rough. But I'm getting old. Bang, ding, ding, ding. That's a little, uh. Is that Neil Young? Yeah, we know it is. I do like a Dak Faden, especially in Vintage Cube. Can someone pass us a Time Walker and Ancestral Recall? I guess this is 8 picks, so that's never going to happen. We would have seen it.
Instant Walking Ballista seems fine. Actually, it's probably Gruel Signet, right? Gruel Signet seems better. Goblin Dark Dwellers, you'll be all right. You'll make it happen. <coughs> Siege Gang, you're okay. Okay, I guess they're just really forcing this Wildfire deck down our throat. We'll get, but we'll get the Burning of Zinyi, too. There's a reason these aren't in my keywords, because no one takes them, because no one really wants to do them. <laughs> Yep, there's a last pick, Burning of Zinyi. Yep, we got both. Coalition Relic seems decent. Zealous Conscripts seems good. Inferno Titan just always good. I think it's Coalition Relic. Yeah, Coalition Relic is good. I hope Inferno Titan comes back, but it's very, very unlikely. Snapcaster Mage is nice. We only have a preordain and a bribery so far, but I believe in us. <clears throat> also, a Spire Bluff Canal that might come back. So, where are our thick boys? Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Let's take remand here. I feel like more and more I've been getting sneak attack, but not anything to sneak attack into play. Uh, Pestermite's a nice little alternate win condition if we can get Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki, so might as well stick with the blue red uh, <clears throat> <coughs> combo possibilities. Yeah, I've never I've never seen anyone actively take Wildfire Burning unless it's like a stipulation. But I mean, if they work in your cube, that's good. I mean, yeah, I think it's it's important to just figure out what works in your cube. Like, in my cube, mono red's always last, so I don't put a high priority on it, but it's still in there. Dalkery, what's going on, my dude? Still nothing to, like, there's no, like, we're all our repeal, all our, uh, all our sneaky boys. It's either this or this. Just casually passes and it I mean, it's triple black. It's triple black. I guess it's a repeal. I like a repeal because you can just bounce. Uh, eh, Young Pyromancer seems okay. Eh, none of these cards are great. We can sneak in a Progenitus. It's just 10 damage. But I don't think it's... <clears throat> oh, I love a Glorybringer, actually. Still nothing big. Oh, God. Is it just Manamorphose? Ugh. What's even happening? I'll just take Sweltering Suns against an aggro deck, I guess. <coughs> Where's Emrakul? Where's any of the Eldrazi? Even Dark Dwellers isn't great so far. We only have literally preordained. Oh, wow. Infernal Titan did come back? Sure. <sighs> that's, that's, imp that's surprising. I've 
and the red wood have been Abbot of Carol Keep. Now, at this point, I'm just taking all the cards that are in my colors. I don't even think you're right. I don't even think any of you are right. I'll take a Geist, I guess. A Goose of Saint, Goose of Saint Traft. So now we have a potential green splash in Huntmaster, potential white splash in Geist, there's a potential black splash in Kolagon's Command. Oh, uh, this guy's actually not terrible right now. Our mana base is pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. A goop of Saint Trash. Oh, wow, that's, well, that's just wild. Oh, Progenitus came back too. That's the only card we're sneaking into play, boys. Actually, sneaking and rekindling Phoenix is not terrible. I'm going to take this Mox Ruby that is on color. Mox Rublet. Ideally, Glenlendra or Cryptic Command comes back. That would be the tits, as they say. I'm just going to take Sower here. Dig Through Time is also good, but we're not really a dig deck yet. Also, we can still get Splinter Twin here. I've been to Redwood, I've been to Hollywood. Oh, we actually have a Girl Signet and Coalition Relic. Two Splash. Hmm. Golos for Progenitus. Wow. <clears throat> Super Fritz, remember when we added those Goloses and those, uh, all those all those shock lands so you could actually activate Golos in that Thassa deck? That was pretty cool. Um, Badlands is interesting. Terastodon is interesting. Explosion Expansion is interesting. Rabble Master. Is he just going to say all these fucking cards are interesting? That's all he's saying. He's just saying they're interesting. It doesn't even mean anything. It's just nonsense. Tezzeret's not interesting. You're interesting. You're interesting. You're breathtaking. I think it's actually just Expansion Explosion. I would say Artisan, but we're not even really on the... on the sneak plan that much. Still nothing. This is... this is painful. I guess Mere Battlesphere is a thing we can do. <clears throat> Plus we do have some ramps, so I guess we're Battlesphering. I don't know, man. <gasps> oh, that is a really late Consecrated Sphinx. What is this, 21? This is a fifth pick Consecrated Sphinx? I mean, we're definitely taking it over stupid Scalding Tarn. I love a Scalding Tarn, but you ain't ever gonna... Wow, that was... Oh, boy. I'll take a Demir Signet. For sure I will. Do I just want to splash this Fallen Shinobi off of Demir Signet and... and... Uh, Coalition Relic? I kind of do, don't I? Look how late this channel is. This is like a 7th <clears throat> pick channel? That's unreal, dude. That's unheard of. And we're definitely taking Fallen Shinobi here, right? And we got a Rakdos Signet for it, too, so we can actually take out the Gruul Signet, bring in Rakdos Signet. Oh, boy. Also, Sneak Attack is kind of trash in the deck right now, right? Okay, so neither of the other cards we wanted came back. That's unfortunate. Um, Just bring Bonfire, I guess. B -b 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 Bonfire! I, I actually, Mizzy Mortars could be fine. We could also probably play Kolagon's Command as well. We have zero lands. We're just literally just playing straight up 16 basics. I think Sneak is trash right now. Progenitus actually doesn't have a spot in here. I'm sorry. 
We could play Colicon's Command. <clears throat> now we have two Signets and a Coalition Relic. Probably play like one Swamp too. It's four black sources. The deck doesn't look bad. I don't love Dark Dwellers here. Like our only hit is literally Preordain. It's actually... Actually, Colgon's Command makes it a little better. <coughs> blah, 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 bonfire. Oh, wow. Robin Master and Artisan came back? Hmm. That's interesting. I kind of like Artisan here. I'll take a Koth. Also, Pestermite's pretty bad, too, now. Because we just didn't get the... Oh, Fire Blast is interesting. Stomping Ground is interesting. We can play Gruul Signet and Stomping Ground and then splash the Huntmaster as well. Ah, uh, we're not going to do that, though. Um, so the thing is, Dark Dwellers just cast the card. So you can't... Explosion, you can cast for zero. And... Expansion, you can cast and copy something else, but... You'd have to, like, put it on the stack, which is weird. There's no way to really do it, because if you play Dark Dwellers, you have to target Expansion, and then choose your targets at that point. And if you have an instant or, or sorcery on the stack, you can't cast Dark Dwellers, so I guess there's really no way that it works, I guess. I think Mega Slim was actually probably playable in this deck, which is pretty comical. Um... So we have 14 creatures. I kind of want to cut Dark Dwellers. I just don't think they're very good. I guess Colgon's Command and Preordain is fine. I kind of like Mizium Orders. If we play Mizium Orders, I can see playing Dark Dwellers. <clears throat> oh, if you can't do it with fire ice, then you can't do an explosion explosion. Yeah. Because it probably sees the casting cost as like six. Or, you know, four if you're playing fire ice. I also don't mind char. I think char could be good too. I could see cutting dark rollers and just bringing Mizium orders. I mean, if we had Ancestral or Time Walk, I would 100% play it just because I think the upside there is way higher. Play Gruul Signet to Splash Field of Ruin. I don't think either of those cards work the way you think they do, my dude. We're going to play Mox Ruby. Add Basics. One of these... Yeah, so this is 881, right? Yeah, I don't... I think this deck looks cool. I'm going to save it. All right. Let's see what this weird deck can do. And we still have Bribery. And... Yeah, this deck actually seems pretty sweet. Double Signet Relic Mox. Top end is Mirror Battlesphere. Expansion Explosion. Yeah, I think this deck is good. Wish you played to make him do a deck on Red Prowess Minor, but he would hate me for that. I, <laughs> Mark, I would totally do it for you, buddy. Yeah, we'll keep this. It's a little slow. It kind of does nothing, but... But no way in hell I was going to pass it. I'll die before I let this go. I think the Dayquil has already helped my uh, my throat. Bribery will punish our opponents for taking all our Aldrazi for our useless sneak. It's so sad when you pick up sneak attack and pack. <laughs> okay. When you pick up sneak attack and pack one, and then you're just like, I never saw a single Eldrazi. I mean, to be fair, I think we did see like the 13 mana Emrakul. But that one's just not good. You want the Annihilator triggers. <clears throat> Oh, Oko. 
When will you ever be fun? The answer? Never. You'll never be fun. You can counter this. You can force of. You're gonna. No, you can't. Can't force. What? Just. You can force of will. What are you doing? Oh my god! Are they gonna daze me? Nah. <coughs> All right, it's not totally gone, but it's definitely a little better. Once that sweet syrupy Dayquil coats your throat, dude. It's all uphill after that. I added Oko to my cube too, and it's just because I think his power level is on par, obviously, with things like Ancestral Recall. But I really don't know if it's the problem is like Ancestral Recall is not oppressive, right? It's it's it's, it's a really powerful card, and you get to draw three cards, but it doesn't oppress the game. You're not you don't feel like you're under pressure from it. It just it's a one it's a one and done, where your opponent gets to to refill on resources, but like that's it. Oh, the, the, the Eldrazi was, uh, the, the Emrakul was next to, um, uh, it was in the same pack with Consecrated Sphinx. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That's a nice memory, Mark. Mirror Battlesphere. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I do it. It's, it's a little weird. It's fucking weird. We're going to Mirror Battle Sphere at the end of the turn, and then we're going to Phantasmal Image the Mirror Battle Sphere on our turn. And then we're going to tap eight. Mirrors. Unless they kill this, which would be weird, because... Okay. Attack for three again. Attack with everybody. It's until it leaves play, right? Leaves the battlefield. Okay. Sure. I don't know why they didn't tap their Gruul Signet for that, but... Did you guys not see me call this Mirror Battle Sphere? That was really weird. Well, I'm the type of guy that wants to draw black. <laughs> what the actual shit, dude? What? What's even happening right now? Buy a lottery ticket. Good lord. Good gravy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? I want to say that's seven. Put Oko to two, and then we're going to Kolagon's command him. <coughs> oh, that's a mere two. I could have tapped all of them, right? That would have been cool. The people that run the simulation were deemed non-essential are on furlough. <laughs> that's, oh, that's pretty hilarious. See, that's funny. Uh, deals two damage target player. No, destroy an artifact. Yeah.
Get this dirt burger out of here. So long, dirt burger. <sighs> yep, that's good. That's good. I'm glad they didn't just flip Huntmaster to kill our second mere battle sphere. Yep, you got it. Um, this is nice because we can activate you and discard Siege Gang. Okay, resolve. One, two, three, four. Okay. Resolve. Um, man, double, double mirror battle sphere is no joke. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I apologize. I apologize. So we can actually sneak this guy and we'll draw an extra card and we can shoot something. Um, which is pretty good. You gotta block at least one of these dudes. Yeah, we're definitely shooting the Hunt Master. Unless they triple block this to try to kill it. In which case... Although we probably just want to play Siege Gang. Oh man. The problem is we like if we like oh I guess Huntmaster flips, right? I mean, I, I think they're in I think this is actually a fine trade. We get to eat all three of these guys. Plus this is gonna deal eight next turn, because we just have the eight mirrors. Like that's a lot. We could shoot this, but then Huntmaster does flip, and it probably kills this anyway, right? So, Cutting, have a good night, buddy. Hope you guys are doing okay with the um, with the quarantine, and I hope the the teaching from home goes well. Um, yeah, this is all fine. I mean, it could hit, like, Consecrated Sphinx, I guess. We're definitely killing Huntmaster. Where one goes to bed, another wakes up with a delightful notification. Frank is streaming. For how long will you be on? Um, this is round. This is round one, but this will be my last draft. So, probably another hour or so. So we can hang out for a little bit, PC. Uh, four, five, six. Sure. So you draw two, gain two. Totally fine. Mark, that's a that's an awesome compliment. I really appreciate it. Having a bit of anxiety, but gotta say that. Thanks for the content. It's good. Dude, I really appreciate that. That is awesome to hear. That is probably the best compliment I could get. I think they're dead, right? Maybe not on board, but... Oh, wow. You just took two from that? You maniac. Like, you go to six automatically from this, and then we can actually shoot you for three. So... They're dead on board, right? Wow. I guess they're just hoping I don't see it. Buddy, I see it. Oh, I see it, alright. Let 
Let's go to the combat tip. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy, look at all these tokens. <clears throat> That was pretty good. I kind of like Sweltering Suns here. Sweltering Suns seems pretty good here. Probably take out Young Peasy. Because he dies to Sweltering Suns. <laughs> I also don't hate Char. Also, Bonfire seems like it could be some fun. Are we doing something like Community Cup on Arena with commentary from Mike? Maybe Man, that, seems, that seems awesome and I'd love to really set that up. I gotta figure out the logistics of it if we do that, though. Do I just bring in Bonfire for fun? The answer is yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll keep this. Turn three bird. Turn four Glormir. That seems great against a reasonably fair green-blue deck. Oh, that's interesting. That's what father likes. <clears throat> oh yeah, that guy's gonna die. You're gonna die, clown. It's from, was that Happy Gilmore? Billy Madison? I think it's Billy Madison. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is... Oh, man. No! Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll choose you. Wow. Wow. Oh, God. They all have a family. Whoa, bonfire. B -b 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 bonfire. <coughs> pretty, 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 pretty good. I did forget to play land. Good call. Good call. Yep, that was rough. Didn't even care. I'm trying to make it more fair, guys. God, the whole chat's going to be like, did you forget to play land? They have one card in hand. I I'm, not really, I'm not really too worried about it. See, even when I'm lucky, I have to offset it by my own, like, by my own... Frazzledness, and I, and I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna play land. Is this treachery? Now, because they didn't double blue. Okay, so now we just sweltering suns, attack for four sweltering suns, get our chicken back the following turn. Oh boy, we are living the dream, my dudes. Somewhere 
Beyond the sea. <coughs> Somewhere. Why did they discard Carnage Tyrant? That seems very good. My lover stands on golden sands and watches the ships hit the graveyard. Give me my chicken back. <laughs> Man, I was going to play Glorybringer, but I guess we're not now. I mean, they're dead on board, right? Next turn, they just, we just take they have 12 in the air. Yeah, this is... Good lord. Guys, apparently bringing in Sweltering Suns and Bonfire was a good choice. I don't know if you guys... Oh, yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, okay. Burberry. Yeah, that was not necessarily close. Easy game, easy life, guys. That's what I always say. Our matchmaking failed. That's very sad to hear. I just want a match. But it, it, it said GG, but it was not GG. It was BG. Alright, let's do it. Oh, yeah. <coughs> also, bouncing a Siege Gang with a Fallen Shinobi is pretty pretty solid. I want to... I want to Signet here. Uh, I want to bottom both of these. Oh, I like Remand. That's kind of like a Signet. I guess we need a Black Source. Ancestral Re... Oh, alright. That's a... That's a shitty Ancestral Recall. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. God, Remand is so good. Boom, boom, boom. Like, the game has ended, but it wasn't delightful. The game. We finished the game, but I don't know. I didn't have a good time. Are they just never going to play a spell? Oh, wow. That was such a good draw. Oh, they're going to crack this. I think I counter this. Oh, that's such biscuits, man. I'm still going to remand this because we can. And, like, if we draw a black source, we can just fall on Shinobi. Even if we draw one of the two signets. Oh, is he dead? 
Siege Gen Commander is actually pretty good here, though. Black Source, Black Source, Black Source. We just want to hit. That's actually a Black Source. So next turn we can actually tap three, play this, play this. We'll have four mana. We can fall on Shinobi. I like it. <clears throat> Don't Toxic Deluge for two, though, okay? Because that's just going to be... Nobody's got any time for that. Just tap out for something dumb. Okay, this looks like you're doing it. You're doing the thing I asked you to. Just be stupid. Be something just nobody cares about. And that's fine. And that's a, this is the most inconsequential creature that ever existed. I don't care about the Garrick because we're just going to shoot it at some point. It's your boy. Come on. Two good spells. No lands. Oh! <laughs> Let's him ya. Wow, him and bribery? Holy Jesus. Oh, man. Cold-blooded. Glenelendra, Gaunti, Ravenous Chupacabra, Sheoldred. I don't know, man. Sheoldred seems pretty legit here. Yeah, I'll just get Sheoldred. That was nice. <coughs> that was enjoyable. I mean, the trigger's on the stack. Mm -hmm. God, that was like a three for one, man. That was like a four for one. We wasted no cards. We got a bribery. Well, no, we didn't get the bribery. The bribery got the shield red. We got the assassin's trophy out of their hand. We got the wolf, and we got a land. Um. Yeah, no, probably not blocking that. Oh my god, really? That's actually very good. Repeal and phantasmal image. Yeah, that's pretty good. Should I say the same thing back? I just, bro, so lucky. Sure. <laughs> it's like, come on, dude. Wow, another bribery. What are they for? Six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know what toxic means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, my dude. If I ping the illusion, I can't get in there and attack this turn. I want to get rid of this, and I want to get rid of the wolf <clears throat> and actually attack this turn. Because then they have to block here. Hmm. 
mean, it might be more important to just get rid of both of these guys, I guess. Oh, I'm not having trouble sleeping. I actually just stay up late. I mean, I usually stay up till like 5 or 6 a.m., so. Should have screenshotted his deck, I think. Tassiger. Sure. I mean, Consecrated Sphinx is like a better Tassiger, to be honest with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. So they got that activation mana. And Thraggy Daddy. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I think we're actually just going to shoot the Garrick because we just don't have an easy way to deal with... Like, this guy can just block forever. Because I want to be able to play Consecrated Sphinx and then also keep up some mana for whatever we draw. I'm just going to pass here. Oh my god, seriously? Are they going to Tassiger and hope to get something back? Yeah, this looks like Tassiger. Um, well, I'm not giving you Shieldred. Or Bribery. Um, you also have four attackers, so I'm just going to give you Garrick Relentless. Like, you can easily kill my... Yeah, that's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. <coughs> We're one man away from just actually casting both of these next turn. I mean, I want to prioritize Glorybringer because it gets rid of Fallen Shinobi, so... This is Garrick. Sphinx is definitely a hell of a card. I think they're going to attack first and, like, trick us into blocking with Sphinx. <laughs> so that they can shoot it with Garrick. And I'm just like, not really here for that. I'm just taking five here. How are you going to call it Grixis, which is the correct name, but then call it Bug? It's called Sultai. Gonti. Yep, that's pretty good. Hope it's nothing good. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgive you. I forgive you. Oh, Jesus, Lord. Jesus, Lord. Mary and Joseph. <clears throat> um, I guess blue. Do we just steal the Tassiger? That seems real good, right? I'm, I'm game for that. I mean, Bug has been around for years. Like, it used to be called Bug before Cons of Tarkir was released. Oh, and we get to draw two cards. That's pretty cool. Or not. Snapcaster Assassin's Trophy. Yep, that seems nice. Uh-huh. Let's get another island, I guess. Oh, they use their only green, though, so now they can't actually cast Garrick, which is pretty nice. Because Garrick would be a way to kill the Sower. Uh, that's, that's actually pretty pretty solid. They have two cards. Oh, they have one card. So their, their only card in hand is Garrick right now? Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, let's just block with the Chupacabra. I mean, I don't think that was a... I don't see how that was a punt. They just... They can only do one one or the other. I mean, getting rid of Consecrated Sphinx seems pretty relevant, so... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 7 and 4. Got a blue here. They don't have they don't have green up. They only have one green. They can't assassin's trophy and play Garrick. <laughs> I'm like I'm like what? Just because they have four mana, you can't just use any mana. <coughs> I don't know. You got cost four. You got four mana. What's the problem? Young PZ. One, two, three, four, six, seven. I never said anything. That's true. Okay, that's fair. We'll uh we'll pretend that's the case. Uh it would have been fine to block with Tasker, but I also just want to activate Tasker. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like we can activate it two more times and draw two more cards. Which seems decent. I mean, what do they give us next? Like, everything in our graveyard is actually pretty good. I mean, also just playing Mirror Battlesphere seems pretty good as well, so. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? Here's a coin to never talk about it again. That's, that's fair. That's fair. I appreciate it. Park Sean, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I don't know what you're talking about, though.
Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I'm actually thinking I probably should have blocked. Maybe it was greedy. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. <coughs> Let's see if they windmill slam Tassiger here. And Tropical Island, yep, they do. Or not Tassiger, Garrick, rather. Yep, you got it. I mean, they only have seven lands, though, and they have no cards in hand, so... Everything in their graveyard costs four or more. Five, seven, five, four. Yep. What's the least oppressive card? I think Fallen Shinobi is just a card I don't care about here. And it forces them to make bad blocks. Or attacks, rather. Never want to give you shouldered. Ravenous Chupacabra just gives you too much control over what to get rid of. No, I agree. I think I think there's definitely merit to getting rid of the Tasker because now they wouldn't have it right now. And I was valuing like getting an activation out of it. Arcane Artisan is actually pretty decent here. Glad we kept this Mox Ruby in hand. So we can deal them four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems decent. Um, attack you and exert probably. Attack Garrick and probably exert. Actually, they just make one ones. I don't care about that really. Attack and exert. Attack you. So they're going to have four creatures. We're going to have a Pyromancer. Shut up and take my money. <clears throat> Do you remember anything? Because I don't, I don't even know what you're referring to right now. This is really weird. I have no idea. Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do. Five, six, seven. Yeah, sure, that's fine. And then we just play Pyromancer. So we know they have Shinobi in hand. That's what we gave them. Okay. <coughs> so we just block everything. They can also activate Tasker. Give them back. God. Their graveyard's great right now. I feel like that Tasker was the whiff here. I think that was the big misplay. That's fucking interesting. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> and they just get to keep their Garrick around. Well, I'll be. Sure. I think this might be game one. It's been taking a while though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's blown up the world. But then they lose their Tassiker, which is interesting. Are they just doing oh they no they do it for five. Oh, that's real good. Oh wow, then they get to keep Tasker. That's insane. Yep, that's pretty amazing. I don't even know what we can draw here. <clears throat> 
Not that. Cool. Yep, those were not going to be the draws that we needed. I think Bonfire is actually fine, which is kind of funny. <coughs> I also don't know if I mind Char because they have the dude. You know, the dude for the Magus of the Moon. Actually, Magus of the Moon seems decent too. It gives them a bunch of mountains. I'm going to cut one card and then just go to take out Repeal. Oh yeah, this can this hand's okay. Nothing. Mox Emerald, they always have it. Oh fucking Christ, come on. K command. Okay. I would have personally taken the Rakdos signet, but Oh man, Brainstorm is just so unimpressive to me. Hmm. Mountain. Demir Signet. Artisan. <clears throat> sure. I mean, our hand is pretty unimpressive, but we can pretty much cast everything except for, like, Mirror Battle Sphere here, so. Yeah, we're just gonna char that dude. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Yeah, we lost game one. <coughs> they had Pernicious Deed, which is just very, very good. Yep, take two. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Nope. Four, five. G brings Mystic Confluence for Hardcast Force of Will. Okay. Well, you have one card in hand, and I think Explosion Expansion is very, very good against you. So, like, we can Explosion Expansion for two here. I would like, I would prefer three. Um, one, two. I'm just going to cast this now. I don't know why. It's just a feeling I had. There's no real justification for it. Chupacabra. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I mean, if that's what you're going to use it on. Like, if we can just top deck a... Consecrated Sphinx, I'd be like pretty grateful. <coughs> pretty sure we're just going to expansion explosion for three here. Drawing three and killing one of their two twos is just fine. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Okay. Now we're... Now we got a game, boys and girls. What is this? Children, sure. So this is how we do it, guys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, oh! Oh, yeah. That's how we do it. Bonfire has been killing it. What I was going to do was uh, Inferno Titan this, Phantasmal Image this, so that they have to sacrifice Shieldred, but I'll just wipe their board. Shaking my head. Really, dude? Really? Oh, man. Really? <coughs> this is how you do it. This is an alternative method of doing it. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. B -b 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 Bonfire, that's true. That is correct. <coughs> I mean, they have <coughs> eight mana. So, but anything over five can't be recast, which is nice. So, one, two, three, four. Gaunty. Oh, wow, they used double black. Oh, I guess they only, yeah, why? Yeah, they, now, now they can't recast it. So now they just die. Yeah, they just miss they they miss tap. I, I should also be shaking my head because you tapped incorrectly for your Gonti. So, uh, yeah, now he punted. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. Wow, that bonfire for six, dude. That was how we say timely. I'm gonna keep this hand and assume we'll just draw into some islands because there's a million in the deck, right? <clears throat> All right, cough medicine. Why are you not wearing? Why are you not lasting longer? Longer with cough medicine and being red fresh. I'm gonna Demir Signet would be nice here. Into you'll get caught up in the bonfire. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Oh, no, what's happening now? This was also the first time I mentioned a punt. <clears throat> That's what I thought. I, I don't think you've actually said anything about punting before. So I don't even know why you'd say that. That seems like a weird thing to say. Wow, uh, Counterspell Young Pyromancer. That's aggressive. Who cares about that? Our opponent does, clearly. Well, if we can get to five mana with a second blue. Next turn, Co Coalition Relic or any Signet. Blue Signet would be great here. <clears throat> well, I'll take that too. We saw Force of Will from them, but they don't have five mana here, so... Also, if they tap out, that would be great, because then we're playing around some other nonsense too, right? There's Siege Gang Commander here. This feels safer. That was some aggressive counterspell use. You're going to bribery me first? Oh yeah, they're doing it. But now we just get their shield red and they have to sacrifice whatever they get, so... Plus Consecrated Sphinx and... Oh, dang it. That's nice. We got Inferno Titan. We'll draw land here. Oh, it's a Demir Signet. You got Force of Will and another blue card? No. Glenelendra, Tassiger, Gonti. Do you have Shinobi? Chupacabra? In hand? That's interesting. And Shieldred? <coughs> That's fascinating. Unless he took those out because we have bribery. I don't understand. Uh, we don't have a... Oh, I guess we could K-Command this sphere, but like... 
We got four to four. We really just want another blocker. We want the Gonti because we want to have five blockers so they can't do some nonsense. Oh. Wow. Wow. Hmm. I think it's forcible because you don't want to take Glenelanger here. <clears throat> no, because if we sacrifice Glenelanger, they get it back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can alternate cast Gonti, uh, force off Gonti, I think. <laughs> Ugh. I wish I had another blue card in hand because I really don't want to exile Consecrated Sphinx for this. But if we don't, they just fall on Shinobi here. Ugh. Yep, they got... F oh, actually, we let this one through, and we get it back? Yeah, all right, let's do that. <coughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, this is great. Interesting. I just want a bad blue card, like a preordain or something that we can just easily discard to a... With Assassin's Trophy gone, and I think we have Shinobi Chupacabra's shoulder in hand. I don't know, man. They might have taken them out. That seems so weird, though. We could also just play Inferno Titan here. <coughs> One, two, three, four. player this I mean I'd rather just play Inferno Titan and kill three of these guys but then I, I don't yeah I guess we gotta get rid of this I'm just gonna pass here because I don't want them to be like, uh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want them to have any sort of way to get through here. <coughs> they don't have Snapcaster. We had Snapcaster. They got it off of Gonti. That was my Snapcaster. I feel like we're in good shape here, but I mean, worst case scenario, we can force a will something. The rag tusk is not a thing I care about. Force of willing. <coughs> but the rag tusk is a great shinobi target for sure. <clears throat> uh, I like lands. I think we're just consecrated sphinxing.
Yeah, just get in there. They only have six mana, so they can't Chupacabra, hit a land, and then also fall in Shinobi, so. <clears throat> and, I mean, they could Garrick, but we're hoping to draw a blue card here so that we can... Ah, that's a blue card. Is it worth Force of Willing this Chups? Probably, yeah. Yeah, the value we get off of this is far higher than the potential. Like, we get probably get one hit. Oh, we have, they have so many blockers, we probably get one hit off of Shinobi that it's... Then it's lights out. Was this, eight? Two, four, six? Fourteen damage? <clears throat> Plus big Inferno? I mean, I'm pretty sure they have shouldered in hand, so. Unimpressive draw, too, but I think we're still way ahead right now, so. <coughs> I mean, they can go Pernicious Deed and cat Crack it for four, which gets rid of Phoenix for a turn and then two Goblins, but that's not going to do it. Ophelo, if I suggest you take one of them, that would be my professional suggestion. Shieldred? Shieldred. It's a lot of mana, man. <clears throat> what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's game. Uh, it's only two thirty right now. Not super late. I took the blue I took the blue one solid solid choice <clears throat> if he says good games I'll good games them I don't know if they're gonna be I don't know if they're gonna be salty or not Oh man, they're gonna say some shitty. I'm waiting. Nothing? Alright. Oh, next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bonfire for eleven. That would have been solid. Alright, man, we're two oh. We're two oh guys. I feel like winning the match would seem like so much more satisfaction than the opponent's... I agree. I couldn't tell if they're a jerk or if they're just kind of like one of those like... Sometimes guys are just like... It's just like... It's it's like playful trash talk, you know? It's not like... Meant to be a dick. But it's hard to interpret that when you're... When you're online, you know? Scarfed in. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Really appreciate it. Is this the trophy, guys? Are we going to 3-0? I don't know. I'm glad we're doing one more, though. And we'll be back tomorrow for sure and the day after that. And check out manatraders.com. They're one of my best sponsors. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. You can find that in the description. And, uh... It's a great subscription service that you can use for Modern Pioneer, Standard, Legacy, Vintage, any Magic Online format that you'd like, Commander, and uh, it's pretty sweet. I stopped playing OMTG because it became pretty toxic. OMTG, what is that? MTGO? Did you just... 
Did you say it backwards? Have faith in the mountains. God dang it, Mark. Dang it, Mark. But maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I just got to have faith. Like Limp Bizkit would say. Remember that Limp Bizkit song? Totally Limp Bizkit. Oh, online MTG. Wow, that is... That is something right there. Yeah, the Limp Bizkit song, Break Stuff. Give me something to break. You guys remember Limp Bizkit, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's good times. Oh, wow. Here comes a Garrick Wild speaker. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> that guy's fat. That guy's going to kill us real quick. <clears throat> oh, boy. J Team J Bro does like the trophy, dude. I personally don't understand it. Ooh, search library for a green creature with converted mana cost X or less. Well, we can't copy that because it's five. Mana Crypt is a fair and balanced magic card. We can steal that. But we'll be dead before then, so. I'd like to trade my Magus of the Moon for a Manic Vandal. Can I do that? Yep, that's a good one. Bernie's my boy, too. I got this guy in the mail the other day. Oh, yeah. That's a little Bernie pin. Look, man, I just want to give people free health care and college educations. Because when you don't give people educations, um, they end up thinking that the coronavirus is a, is, a, is a democratic hoax. And then they end up getting coronavirus and dying. Um, because they're morons. And I just, I'm just saying, I, I think if people had college educations or easier access to them, perhaps we wouldn't live in a society uh, with morons. But that's just my, that's just my opinion. Controversial as it may be. They got a Jitte on the top? Man, I don't want to see that. I don't need to see that. Um, Mark, how did you not know that? I feel like, Mark, I feel like you and I are very politically similar. I thought they were Bernie sleeves. That would be sweet. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just going to take this Pelucranos. Because otherwise you eat me. But then again, like, I mean, you're just going to equip Umazawa's Jitte. And then come at me, bro. And it's just going to be... I can have Palooks. I took Palooks. Palooks is all mine. Here's a Jitte for you. Yep, I don't even know why I wrote it down. And now they equip it to the... Now they equip it to this bet. Yep, that's the thing. I'm definitely blocking here. They're getting the counters anyway, so. We are still alive, and depending on what their crazy-ass deck has, we could get, like, an Ulamog or something with this Brabario. Gumanu, you and Mark are both from, uh, you guys are both Brazil. And yes, I uh, Mark actually keeps me updated pretty regularly on uh, on what the president says. Oh wow, are they just gonna kill their own devoted druid? <coughs> They're just gonna suicide this thing to make some mana. Oh jeez, what's happening right now? This is aggressive. Never gets any easier, guys. Well, they only have a 5-5 five five now. So we take 5. I 
I think they drew a coalition relic. All right, cool. So if they only have one creature, oh, they're going to have another creature. They regrowth the plow under. That's fine because we're going to bribery right now. And hopefully that, that trumps whatever they got here. Oh, we're at three. <coughs> Yikes. Oh, I like a primeval Titan. How much mana can they make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can deal three, and then Primeval Titan almost kills it after damage. Huh. I don't know how we survive this. Yeah. Screenshotting their deck seems good. Their deck doesn't seem that great, actually. I mean, they have no... I mean, they have Mox and Mana Crypt, but that's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of like... I mean, I think it's just got to be Primeval. I mean, we can take Terrastan on and shoot our own lands, but they're going to plow under anyway. And I'd rather just have enough lands to, like, Inferno Titan next turn as well. If we go Primeval Titan, they go negative 2, negative 2, make it a 4-4. Four, four. They tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana... Shoot it for three. It deals four back. This is an eight eight, and the four it's four plus four, so it would actually still kill it. Unless they plussed it. But in that case, like we still have an extra turn. Um we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna we're gonna still have six lands next turn. Yeah, I think we're just getting primeval titan. Well, you can't kill creatures with Terastodon, that'd be insane. I'm gonna get two mountains. Man, if you can kill creatures with Terrastodon, can you even imagine? That'd be wild. Oh, we got a block here. I guess they just don't do anything and they just plus it with the Jitte, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, for fudge's sake. Butter my biscuits. Four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana. This guy's six. <coughs> like, we shoot three of these and both of these get through. Yeah, all right. We tried. Good gravy. Bonfire coming in again. Sweltering Suns could probably come in here. What did we take out last time? There was a card we didn't like, right? Megas of the Moon? And against the Mono Green deck? Sure. I mean, if we blow up our lands and then they plow under, I think it's very unlikely that we're going to have enough mana to cast. Ya boy. Ya boy being... Uh, Fallen Shinobi. But. I Yeah, this seems good. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, turn two, five, five. And then a plow under. Like, I mean, what are you going to do? Mana Crypt is a, is a broken magic card, right? Phantasmal Image is pretty nice. So is Rekindling Phoenix if we can hit one more red source. I believe in us. Oh, good. Mox Emerald. Yeah, that guy's fine. Red source? That's a blue source. We're going to play this because we don't have any real benefit to playing Young Pyromancer here. Fallen cost four? What is Fallen? Fallen Shinobi? Yeah, it costs four Ninjutsu. Oh, boy. Well, that's problematic. I would love to have another red so I can cast Rekindling Phoenix, but well, apparently that's not how we do. You could just copy this. So it attacks for us a 3-4? Ugh, God. I mean, it's just better than discarding a card, right? Right. 
God, the free killing Phoenix would be so good. We just block, trade, get it back. Like, now they have in a high incentive to uh, equip an attack. Or plow under us, for sure. Um, yep. Sad days. Plow under every game. Yeah, I got in there with you. Man, I wish I had a uh, one uh, a preordain would be nice, but we're just gonna draw another land next turn. So, <laughs> Jesus, five, six, seven, eight mana. Terastodon, kill our last three menace. Tooth and nail. Another 2-1, guys. Another 2-1. Manatraders.com. Link and promo code are in the description below. Check them out. Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday, guys. I have a new article up, and I would love for you to check it out. Really? We don't do Avenger of Zendikar plus, like, Terastodon here? <clears throat> Why do you need more lands? That's... That's strange to me. I mean, I guess you're still way ahead. But I mean, we're just going to concede. We can't win this game. I would love to see what we're going to draw, though. <laughs> Three lands, sore. Oh, there you go. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Definitely do me a favor. Head on over to twitch.tv slash Franklapore. Give me a follow or subscribe if you can. And, uh... I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. I appreciate you guys.